Okay, so last video, I helped answer the question, why should we be hanging out on LinkedIn? This week, we're going to tackle the question, okay, now that I'm here, what should I be doing? My friend, if you're looking to increase your sales or your personal brand, there's a lot that you can be doing. And today I'm going to show you 10 different ways that you can engage on LinkedIn to grow your brand and your sales. Stick around. Hey everyone, it's Leanne and I do spend a lot of time on LinkedIn every day, but it's because I see the great potential and opportunity to converse and attract my ideal client and other branding opportunities that interest me. But in order to enrich those relationships and find those opportunities, I needed to move from being a passive observer to an active participant. So today I'm showing you 10 ways that you can become an active participant and start to grow and develop your brand using LinkedIn. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. Each week I'm delivering personal branding tips and LinkedIn tips to help you grow your brand and gain some traction. And stick around to the end of the video. I'll be chatting about my upcoming LinkedIn Connections Challenge, which will help you grow your LinkedIn network. My friend, here are 10 ways that you can grow your brand and attract ideal clients using LinkedIn. Tip number one, complete your LinkedIn profile. No matter what it is that you do on LinkedIn, everyone's going to link back to your profile to learn more about you. So let's ensure that you have a complete and a compelling story that will bring them back for more. Tip number two, create native content. Now native content on any platform is a piece of content that you created just for that platform. So what this means on LinkedIn is that you're not backlinking to things that you've posted on Facebook or Instagram or even on YouTube, but rather you created something specifically for LinkedIn alone. The algorithm will pick up on that and provide you with a bit more engagement and a bit more eyes on that piece of content. Tip number three, post regularly. As you start to post on a regular basis, your ideal community will pick up on that and start to see you as someone that they can rely on to provide information on the daily. Tip number four, use LinkedIn's messaging function to provide value. Now, I'm still a firm believer that messaging should not be used for the sales process, but rather it's the springboard to take the relationship offline to start the sales process. So get into LinkedIn messaging and start providing other things of value to your ideal client and start to consider moving the relationship to email or phone number where there you can start the sales process for your particular product or service. Tip number five, write a LinkedIn article. So LinkedIn's long form article function is a great way to position yourself as a thought leader and, and add to the discussion on any topic in your industry. Take advantage of the long form article feature and maybe consider tying it back to your featured section on your LinkedIn profile. Tip number six, contribute in groups. Now there are differing opinions about the value of groups, but I'm still of the opinion that there's great value in groups. If we all contribute to the discussion and ask engaging questions, perhaps there will be more value in groups. So I encourage you to dig into some groups where your ideal client is hanging out, learn a little bit about what their challenges or struggles are, and of course, contribute to the conversation where appropriate. Tip number seven, include hashtags. Hashtags are a great way for people to find information on a specific topic, and it's a great way for people to find you, especially when they're outside of your network. So ensure that you're including relevant hashtags in both your native content and in your long form articles. Tip number eight, set your profile and viewing settings to full. So LinkedIn is a platform where you want people to visit your profile to learn about you. So ensure that all of your settings are set to full visibility so that people can find you and start connecting with you. Tip number nine, grow your network through connections. 
take some time intentionally each week to reach out to new connections and start to grow your network. Of course, this is going to help create more engagement on your LinkedIn content and posts, but also, of course, start that relationship to take that LinkedIn connection to the next level. And finally, tip 10, continually update. Back in tip number one, we talked about completing your profile. Now, there's a few sections in your profile that you can continually update to create some visual engagement for each time someone visits your profile. Three sections in particular include your headline, your banner photo, and your featured section. If you are interested in growing your LinkedIn connections, I have just the challenge for you. The five days to 50 connections LinkedIn challenge is a great way for you to spend some intentional time on LinkedIn each day for a week to start to grow and attract new connections to your profiles. You can sign up at leannecalderwood.com forward slash challenge and the challenge officially begins on Monday. I hope to see you there. Did any of these tips that I shared with you today, were any of them new and things that you would like to try in the upcoming year? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. For more LinkedIn inspiration and tips, check out my LinkedIn playlist here or jump on over to leannecalderwood.com. I look forward to hearing from you about your particular LinkedIn journey. Please stay in touch and we will see you next time. Bye for now.